Meet Sarah. She grew up in a community a lot like yours. Sarah recently married and moved into a new home with her husband, not far from her parents. Soon after her wedding, Sarah's new home began to feel like a prison. Her husband wouldn't let her leave the house, even to work or see her family. He insulted her, yelled at her, and hit her. He forced her to have sex when she didn't want to. Sarah doesn't know she can seek help. She feels lost and isolated, too ashamed and scared to tell her parents, too embarrassed to tell her friends. But Sarah isn't alone. Across the world, at least one in three women will experience physical and or sexual violence, mainly at the hands of their husbands or partners. This can happen whether they're legally married, living together, or just dating. Women and girls also experience a number of other forms of violence over the course of their lives, from family members, acquaintances, and strangers. This violence can hurt them emotionally and physically, and can have serious impact on their health. Experiencing violence can prevent women and girls from completing their education, doing work, and earning an income. This violence affects their families, their communities, and entire nations. Yet the majority of women and girls who experience violence never seek help. Why? In many countries, it's not so easy to find help. And like Sarah, many women don't know they have the right to seek these services. They worry about their family's reaction, or fear even more violence. And sometimes, even when they seek help, providers don't have the right skills to meet their needs. But these barriers are a wall that can be torn down. Responding to this violence requires a range of essential services that recognize and aim to meet the multiple needs of women who have experienced violence, survivors. Quality health services must offer first-line support. Quality social services must offer information on rights and access to critical resources. Effective police and justice services must be cross-cutting and women-centered. From reporting to a police officer and speaking with a lawyer, to getting support for any matters heard by a court, these services must ensure confidentiality and protection. When these services are available and well coordinated, getting help to stop the violence and to recover from its effects becomes more possible. Sarah's is only one story. There are countless others. With proper services, women like Sarah can get the support they need to break the cycle of violence. Spread the word. Take action. Stop violence against women and girls.